freaking morning guys it is currently 8 14 a.m and i woke up not too long ago i started doing this like ice roller thing i don't know i've seen like so many people do it so i'm like it must be good for your skin so here I am. We got a lot of stuff to do in this vlog. Like we're gonna start on the nursery, which I'm so excited about. Also now it's not a secret that we're having a boy. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'll give you guys a little bump update. Currently 19 weeks and two days, I think. I, yeah, somewhere around there. So I feel like from the front, I don't really look pregnant, especially where I'm like, when I'm wearing high-waisted stuff, but don't be fooled. This is my stomach. <laughs> so we're definitely, you know, growing. Benji also, oh, I don't wanna expose him like that. He says good morning. <laughs> He's not a morning person. So I'm almost halfway done with this pregnancy. If you're curious, I've gained like 11 pounds. I'm not sure if that's like good or not. Um, I've been eating good to say the least. So yeah, hopefully that's like on track. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like that's not that bad. Halfway there and I've gained 10 pounds. I don't know. We also have our anatomy scan this Friday, which I've been super anxious for. I'm just praying that baby boy is growing perfectly. All his organs are perfect. I will definitely keep you guys updated on that. Lately, I've been a little bit more anxious because it's coming up and it's like a pretty big scan. So hopefully everything is good. Crossing my fingers. Sit down. <laughs> I also wanted to mention something. I got a comment the other day that I've been like overthinking about. I also want to ask you guys' opinion. Someone said, um, please don't let all of your content be pregnancy related, which I agree with. I feel like there's like a good happy medium, but I feel like lately... Like this is all so new and the most exciting thing going on in my life right now. So I wanna share it with you guys. So sorry if like the pregnancy content is like overwhelming. I just wanna make sure that I'm making content that you guys enjoy watching and hopefully you guys are enjoying this pregnancy content and stuff. I'll definitely try to do more food challenge videos here and there, but I feel like my main like focus right now is like preparing for our baby and it's just like a big like life event, you know? So I'm sorry if you don't like enjoy watching pregnancy content. But yeah, I definitely feel like there's like a happy medium. Just let me know down below. It's hard because I am vlogging like my life and this is like a really big thing happening. Like the biggest thing that's happening in my life and ever. And I obviously wanna share it with you guys. So hopefully you're enjoying the pregnancy content. And I know not everyone is a mom or pregnant that's watching this, but even when I wasn't pregnant or a mom, I like enjoyed watching like mommy content. So. Yeah, let me know. Also, I don't know if you guys noticed, but ever since we took down the Christmas decor, this mantle has been so plain. So I recently got some decor from Amazon and I added a whole bunch of stuff, which I think looks so cute. I'll try to remember and link everything, but I got these LED candles, which are super pretty. I got some decor books right here. And I posted this on my story yesterday and someone was like, is that a pretzel? No, ma'am, it's not a pretzel. <laughs> and then I just added these candles, which I actually have these upstairs in the loft as well but i think it looks so good i love see i told you guys he is not a morning person <laughs> hello besties it is the next day i just finished getting ready and doing my makeup for once i know shocking i'm like trying to hide away from the sun because i was sitting here doing my makeup and i was like oh my god i can't even see hi yeah i just got all ready um for nothing <laughs> First of all, I didn't mention this in the beginning of this vlog, but I want to say thank you for all of the love and stuff of our gender reveal and everything. We are so excited and I'm so happy that I don't have to hide it anymore. It's just very nice. You guys officially know that we're having a boy. I know, crazy. I'm still like shocked from it. I wanted to vent with you guys for a second because you know we're besties and I originally was not going to talk about this, but I was like, no, this is bothering me and things usually don't bother me at all. Well, I have my moments. Let's not go that far. <laughs> I've been getting a couple comments on my gender reveal and just like on random pictures. It's like a couple people that keep asking me the same question and someone commented saying, are we going to name this baby eight, which I think is such a dumb, like, <sighs> Let's back it up. If you guys don't know, we lost our 12 week baby boy. His name was Seven, which I love that name. I think it's such a like beautiful name. Um, I get it, it's a number. It really bothered me the way people were asking me like, oh, are you naming this baby eight, LOL? It's like, that's not funny. 
Like, if you were genuinely asking me that, then that's one thing. But, like, to kind of make fun of someone's trauma, like, that's not cool. And I know it's probably some trolls or whatever, but I was just not having it. Do you see where I'm coming from? Like, I was like, ew, that's not cool. Like, lame joke. It was just bothering me because people were, like, liking the comment and, like, replying to that comment and, like, sending, like, laughing emojis. And I'm like, some people just, like, don't think. Like, I don't know. I just think it's, like, not funny and... It was like a very traumatic thing that happened to us and it's just like nothing to joke about and I get like seven, eight, nine, like haha, -ha, very funny, but like no. Not funny to me when I lost my 12 week baby boy. Like that's just not funny. So yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys about that because that was really bugging me. Usually I do not let things like that get to me, but I think it's the pregnancy hormones. I'm just like no one talk about my babies or I will mess you up. Like, I think it's just the mom and me coming out. I'm just like, ooh, I see red. Anywho, that was annoying, but whatever. Like, what if I was naming him eight? Bye. If you're genuinely asking, no, we are not naming this baby eight, okay? This is so hard not to say his name now. Do I just say his or baby? We're in his room right now and it's a whole mess right now. We picked up all the confetti. You can see it in the vacuum. We're trying to sell this couch. So if you, any of you guys live in the Seattle area, let me know. We still need to fix this situation. But I wanted to tell you guys the thing of the nursery which I think is so cute I saw it on Pinterest and I was like that is his nursery that's the one I'll include inspo pictures but we're going for like a cloud theme I'm so excited I think it's so cute we're trying to figure out if we want to paint this wall a light blue not this blue but like a lighter blue or a light gray so let me know which one you guys think would look better we need to do that soon and Jill and I actually ordered his crib it comes in this Friday so I'm so excited oh my gosh and we also got a couple things from bye bye baby which guys I get so excited when we get packages for this baby it gives me all the serotonin so i accidentally bought two boppies this is for nursing so i got this like soft gray one and then i don't know what i did here but i got like a plain one too didn't mean to do that i also got this protective liner and then for when he's sleeping i got this outlet dream sock just because i already have the worst anxiety about sids like i'm not gonna get any sleep i know for this first year if you guys don't know what sids is it's sudden infant death syndrome and it just freaks me out so i feel like this will um like help my anxiety a little bit the sock pretty much tracks baby's heart rate average oxygen sleep quality waking movements and current sleep state so this will be very handy and you can download the app on your phone so i'm super happy that we got this it's on the pricer side but worth it and then for the cloud theme we got this hamper and this little like storage bin that's what we recently got from bye bye baby um and we're still waiting on a couple other packages but we have a lot of stuff to get i do want to organize this closet because i hate these types of hangers i bought a whole bunch of these gray velvet hangers on amazon they're like baby hangers i think i need to order more of them because that is not enough so i'm gonna switch out as many as i can because these just bothered me and then i also got these baby closet dividers it looks like this and it comes with a whole bunch of like dividers so you know which clothes are specific sizes we have all of these zero to three months three to six six to nine and then so on i got these on amazon highly recommend okay let's organize look how cozy this looks and then the top part it's like little teddy bear ears i'm so oh i cannot wait to dress him up he's gonna be so over me Okay, yeah, I definitely need a lot more hangers, especially for all the stuff up here and then the like newborn stuff right here. But don't the hangers make such a difference? These are so handy to have. I need to clean up this situation right here. There's so many hangers and I've already stepped on one and that really hurt. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna take a quick break because I am hungry. I can feel my stomach bubbling. So I think I'm gonna make myself a HelloFresh because it's super quick and easy and it sounds really good because I got one of my favorite HelloFresh meals this week so i'm like that sounds amazing it's like this uh sandwich i think i've showed you guys it like a couple months ago but it's really good so i'm gonna make it right now because we're hungry over here i do want to 
mention HelloFresh's latest line fast and fresh recipes are ready in less than 15 minutes, which I am a fan of. They have recipes like Power Bowls, Seared Steak, Southwest Pork, and Bean Burritos, and a whole bunch more. Also, since it's a new year, you probably have new goals, and HelloFresh is here to help you achieve them. So skip the grocery store and take control of your time and budget with these recipes delivered straight to your door. Like, you save so much money year-round. HelloFresh is actually cheaper than the grocery store and 25% cheaper than takeout. So I am sold. I'm so rude. I already took a bite because <laughs> it smelled so good. Okay. Mm. The sandwich is so good. Also, this meal also came with potatoes and you can make it into um, little french fries, but I just wanted the sandwich right now. But yeah, if you guys wanna check out HelloFresh, definitely go to hellofresh.com and use my code SRAY21 to get 21 free meals plus free shipping. It's a really good freaking deal, like 21 free meals. I'm gonna finish the sandwich and then we'll get back to doing baby stuff. Hi guys, so I just got some exciting packages in the mail from Bye Bye Baby, which baby packages are like my favorite thing to get now. So we got his crib, his bassinet, and his swing in the mail. I'm so freaking excited. So my dad's coming over and building the bridge. I mean, building the bridge, building the crib. I'm sure Jalen can probably do it, but he's going to his friend's house to watch a Seahawks game. So I'm just gonna have my dad do it because he can literally like build stuff in like two seconds. So yeah, and I need to record this like ASAP because this is, a brand deal with, with Bye Bye Baby for my Instagram. So I just want to get it done with and stuff. First step is we're taking that pink couch out of the room because, you know, it's really girly and I'm not going to be using it anytime soon. So my dad and Jalen are going to bring it down before Jalen leaves. Are you already bringing it down? Pretty much, yeah. Okay then, never mind. <laughs> okay, so here is the before of his room. His crib's actually gonna go on this wall, not this wall. We're gonna be building it right here. I just don't like this background for that. So yeah, this is all temporary, but yeah, this is what his room looks like right now. While my dad's finishing up the crib in there, which it's almost done. It's really bright in there, so you can kind of see it. When I try to set up the baby swing, I feel like it shouldn't be that hard. So we'll see. I got this munchkin one that I saw a whole bunch of good reviews on. So yes. I also ordered two other like baby bouncers, but they haven't came in the mail yet. I probably don't need that many, but first time mom. <laughs> Did I? We had so many pictures of you with your bloated stomach. Oh, yeah, this one vibrates too. Okay, so I ended up bringing the swing down here and look how cute this swing is. I'm so excited for this. I've heard so many good things about it. Also, this was so easy to build. What? Also, this is super random, but I don't know if you guys have been keeping up with the Moscow, Idaho case. My whole For You page is like all about it. I just feel so bad. It's just such a horrible case that's happening. Ever since that case, I've been super paranoid. Like it's super close to us. It's like only three hours away. I ended up buying this adjustable door and window security bar because I am so paranoid. And like through this case and like on TikTok, I've found out how easy it is for someone to break into your slider. So I wanted to get something just in case you know i mean we have security cameras and like an alarm system but i'm just so freaked out so this is your sign to get a security bar or you can literally just get like wood and like cut it to fit like right there and on your windows like i got these little white things for the windows because i am so scared but yeah sending all my love and everything to the victims i just can't imagine what the victims families are going through because this case has been like taking up my whole brain like it's so sad so yeah this is your sign to um get some security because you never know i also know this isn't like the only case like there's so many like bad things that happen every single day like every single minute to be honest but this one just like hit and it's just like so close to us that it like really freaked me out also let me know your guys' thoughts because i have been wrapped up with this case and let me know if you guys think that brian was the one that did everything i mean i'm pretty convinced that he did because his dna was on, on the knife like button thing so i don't know but 
anyways just be safe please i'm so excited we pretty much have everything set up that got delivered we have the bassinet set up the crib and the swing it gives me so much serotonin i can't even and also oh my god i can't believe i even, didn't even tell you guys this i felt like i told you guys because i told my instagram story this but i felt his kicks last night which was so crazy and like the craziest feeling like i was like wait a second is that what i think it was like i'm like there's a baby in there like i who knew? <laughs> Ever since then, I'm like, um, sir, can you please do that again? Because that was fun. Um, but yeah, that was super special. And um, I was curious to see like when I was gonna feel the kicks because my anterior placenta and um, that makes it harder for me to like feel the kicks. So yeah, it was 19 weeks, three days yesterday. So yeah, that's when I felt my first kick. This is just for like my documenting purpose, um, just to look back on. So yeah, that was extra special. I just wish Jalen could like feel it because I'm I'm like oh my god i wish you could feel this but yeah so crazy i can't benji's currently taking a nap in the pregnancy pillow nothing's new he also got a haircut he looks a little funny <laughs> he's like that was rude yeah here's the bassinet that i decided on it's obviously gonna come closer to the bed it's gonna be like right next to it but i like how this one you can just zip this down and there's like an opening which is really nice and i love the color it's like a light light gray um and you can make it taller shorter i just am so excited for this i cannot wait for him to be here he still needs to brew in there but yeah, so exciting. And then this part, we were like, what is this for? You literally strap this in your bed for like security, which love that. It's super bright in here, but this is what the crib looks like. It's the Da Vinci 4-in-1 convertible crib. So this can turn into a toddler bed and a full-size bed. So that's gonna be really nice. Tomorrow we're gonna paint this wall light gray. Yeah, it's coming together and I'm so excited. We're also getting rid of this. And then I think we're gonna keep this thing for the playroom or something. Yeah, so exciting. Oh my God. Hello guys, so it is the next day. Jalen and I are about to get some paint for, I almost said his name, um, <laughs> for Baby Boy's room. We're getting like a light gray. I know at the beginning of this vlog, I was telling you guys we were debating between light blue and light gray, and I just asked Jalen, which one do you prefer? And he said light gray, so I was like, okay, yeah, like let's do light, light gray. gray. So we're gonna get some paint right now, and we need to get like something to put on the ground. So we're at Sherwin-Williams, so hopefully they have a lot of paint options. I mean, I'm pretty sure they do, like it's a paint store. Oh, okay. This is a lot harder than we thought. These are the colors we have so far. Kind of like this one more. Jubilee. I don't know. Oh, no, it looks a little too this gray. is hard. There's looks so like many the, different shades kinda, of gray. I don't know. I feel like this one kind of looks like a little bit. This one off looks really white. One. Yeah. Oh my god, look how many whites they have. Okay, it's between these four. And this is so hard to choose from. We are all good. We got the color and we got uh yeah. <laughs> it's time to paint. But yeah, say goodbye to this. This is the gray that we went with. It's looking a little bit more whiter on camera, but it's definitely a light gray. Okay, so here's what the wall looks like. I think it looks so freaking good. I love this gray color. I also post my inspo pics on Instagram and <laughs> guys, don't worry. We're gonna have color in this room. Those were just inspo pictures, so don't worry. The baby will not be a sad beige baby. That's what they call them on TikTok. So cute. And then hung this up and we're gonna put some books right here. It just looks so cute. Oh my gosh, shit is getting real. I'm gonna end the vlog here because I feel like I have so many days in this vlog. I think there's only like three days, I'm not sure. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching and are enjoying the baby content because I love me some baby content. Like my whole feed on Instagram is like all baby stuff and I'm like, yes. Benji is knocked out. <laughs> I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye.